My name is James Dimmick. I'm from Clinton, Iowa, and I'm an artist and a tattoo artist. When I go into a painting, I think, okay, you're a creative genius, you know what to paint, this is what you're meant to do, and with absolute confidence. We're taught that having confidence in yourself is a bad thing, and that you're being ego egotistical and stuff, but you can believe in yourself and create in a positive way. Like Why I have that insight about uh, subject matter first and technique after is because I did obsess over technique for so long. And when I looked back at my work, I was like, I just painted a bunch of nonsense. Like, because I was worried about uh, being able to paint a person or like a portrait or something. And then I realized, like, what is, what is that doing for me? Like, I'm, I'm painting so other people think it's technically good. And that means nothing to me. I think it's most important to do the work for yourself and what you think is interesting. I mean, that doesn't mean social stuff doesn't creep in because it's hard to tell what is affecting you. I mean, but if you're not in your own head so much, you can, I think you can create better work. Whatever you're drawn towards, go towards. Like, even if it seems uncomfortable or strange, there's a reason why your subconscious wants you to go there. I think that your subconscious is always trying to help you like that you know what the right thing to do is. And if it's making you uncomfortable, you as a person, your subconscious wants you to look at it and examine it. And it's like, why it's making you uncomfortable. We usually run from it, but I think it's best. And there's tons of things that I still run from. But if I notice I'm running from it, then I'll go towards it. Like I listened to the Christian radio for like a year straight because it was so uncomfortable. And I didn't know why I was uncomfortable. And why am I so uncomfortable with people being happy? Even if they're faking it, why is that uncomfortable? Now you know, thinking about why that made me so uncomfortable. You know, I've tried to understand what that is, what that culture is, and they're good people too. Like, it was just uncomfortable for me because it was something different, and I only seen the negative side of that. Like, those people are all about family and, you know, uh, solidarity with each other and stuff. And, you know, it's so easy to be pessimistic and negative all the time and be a brooding, misunderstood artist. It's a lot harder to be positive towards everybody and live in a positive way. It makes you have realizations when you go after something that's uncomfortable that you're supposed to have. And you know these things, you should be going after these things, but they're painful to go towards, so you make them excuses to like stray away from it. Like, oh, I just don't like Christians, or I just don't like, you know, the occult stuff that's just bad, you know. But there's a reason why you keep being confronted with it. It's because you need to look into it and understand it. The portrait of me in a pentagram is, is uh, when I was painting that, it was scary because I grew up with my mom. I was scared of the dark, and a lot of people are still scared of the dark. You know, if the closet's cracked open a little bit, it's, you're like, is something looking out? And I went through this process of, like, when that would happen, I would just get in the closet and shut the door and just see what comes for me, you know, like, and you realize like it's just it's yourself and when i painted that portrait it was to it's part of this self overcoming and not being scared of the unknown my whole life was like creative thinking my dad's a mechanic and being a mechanic is like creative problem solving and so because you have to figure things out so uh creative problem solving has just been part of my life forever and you know i think that's what drives art is creative problem solving. Most of my art process in general is instinct. We observe patterns without knowing it. And when you're painting, that's your intuitive process being like, that doesn't look quite right. And you don't know where that pattern comes from, where that feeling comes from. But yeah, your, your brain knows it, like your subconscious knows it's wrong. And it knows the right place to put it. Like, you can do it a million times until it's right. I mean, if, but if you get out of your own way, your body will automatically, you know, do that calculation for you and put it in the right place. Like, I think people don't talk about it, but like, in your 20s is some of the worst suffering. You feel like men don't talk about their 20s, but it's like uh, uh, our brain isn't fully formed with decision making until you're like 27, 28. So if you have a good upbringing and like smart parents, you'll make the right decisions. But me, 
I was just making the wrong decisions over and over again. I did not know what the fuck, why, you know, life was, uh, I started escaping towards art more. So it became more of like an uh, outlet for frustration and like confusion. Because in the 20s, when in my 20s, uh, nothing makes sense. Like nothing in the world makes sense. Like it's, you have no idea why everything happens, but. You won't suffer in life unnecessarily if you suffer on your own terms. So if you work out in the morning, the rest of the day may feel easy. You know, if you lay around the couch all the time, eventually going to the store and getting something that you, it used to feel like you're excited to do it, go shopping. Now it feels exhausting because you've just laid on the couch all the time. So some, it, it, life will make you suffer in areas that you should be enjoying because you're not making yourself suffer. Either way, half of your life's gonna be suffering. When I'm doing a painting, it's, it's not like it's fun. It's like a form of suffering. And then when it's done, that's the enjoyment. And most of it is suffering. Like I'm doing unfinished work and it's suffering and I hate it. And it's like nine out of 10 paintings and then the one, that's where I get the payoff. But I needed to suffer because I wouldn't be able to get to that end result. Like you don't, I don't, you can't gauge it otherwise, you know. I don't necessarily identify as just a tattoo artist. I identify as a creative in general. Um, it's just the career I'm doing at the moment. Like I'm happy to do it. I love tattooing, but that doesn't mean AI or something will take it over and we have to pivot. Yeah, I think uh, certain people have certain things they need to give to the world and to culture. And now it's going to be the ideas. And it's not whether you had an upbringing that allowed you to learn an instrument or a teacher to teach you art theory and stuff. It's like you're the purest part of the creative process, which is your ideas. So AI is liberating us from our human limitations. I think art is over in the general sense of what we thought it was. Like, I think that's completely over because it can make things perfect, like what humans think are perfect. And the more we contribute to it, the more perfect it can make what we want to make, whether it's the most abstract perfect thing, whether it's the most ugly perfect thing, or whether it's the prettiest perfect thing. Like, it's becoming just about the idea, the artistic ideas and process and not about whether you can mechanically do it or not. Because so many people have deep creativity within them, but they can't mechanically do it, like with whatever limitations they have. There's certain technical things you can learn to technically paint well or technically draw well, and it does take a lifetime to learn those things, and it's just literally mechanical things. We're just doing it, like computing things. I always think that I'm doing art for a certain reason, but then a year later it's a different thing, you know? So I'm open to that too. Like, no one knows what's going on in the world. No one knows why we're here or what we're doing. So I'm open to change about why I do anything, you know, which is a scary place to be, but I think that's the truth. It's comfortable to think that something is happening, like your certain ideas of why you're here, but the truth is no one knows what's going on. And that's a very uncomfortable place to be, but that's the truth of it. And when you're living that truth, you can move forward and maybe do something important.